everybody, Nikki D here from Five Dog Farm with my best bud Serena. And this morning, I guess we're gonna make a delicious make ahead breakfast with the holidays coming up. Goodness knows we're doing a lot of cooking in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I learned a long time ago the last thing I want to do is get up early in the morning when I basted a turkey or taking care of a steak or whatever it is I'm making for the holiday and cook a meal for breakfast as well. So this is one of those things that I kind of stumbled upon. I had done strata for the longest time, which is uh, eggs and meats and cheeses and mm -hmm. things in a dish, and cream and yum and bread. It is, it's delicious. But it was kind of heavy. Yeah. And I realized I didn't want people getting filled up before the dinner that I took even more time making. And they're like, oh, we're full. <laughs> Which means this year appetizers are gone too. Yeah, no, yeah. No. Because they all get filled up on the spinach dip and then, then no. Then they're not doing hungry. it this year. You just, yeah. just starve and then eat all the dinner I made. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like that philosophy. <laughs> oh, I'm just telling you, I've cooked and I've cooked and I've cooked and everybody's full because they had chips coming out of their mouths. And I'm thinking, <laughs> why did I cook? All of this for you people. I could have just served you chips. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so not this year. <laughs> but I do like this uh, healthy oatmeal breakfast. It's make ahead. You pop it in the fridge. You put it in the oven the next morning. It's done, and they're full until dinner. Yeah. So here's basically how it goes. The recipe, the full recipe, will be on the blog where you can go ahead and, and print it. And uh, so what we have here is a greased baking dish. I'm gonna move this one. A grease baking dish, grease it with butter, uh, three cups of oatmeal. I have, is it quick? It is uh, old fashioned okay. quick, quick oats. Okay. Old fashioned quick oats. Um, okay. And again, I'll have that on the blog and I'll have a link to where you can uh, buy it as well. One cup of milk, a quarter cup heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, because you get that little unctuous bit bite in there, but it's only a quarter cup. Uh, one large apple. I happen to use two small apples. I used honey crisp. Use whatever apple you like. You could also do pears. I think mm. pears are super just fall, you know? Some maple I think syrup. Oh. <laughs> Yum. Maple syrup is actually delicious on top of this. We did it we did this the other morning, this oh. breakfast, and we put maple syrup on it and it was great. Yes. Um, a half a cup of, of cran dried cranberries, two farm fresh eggs from the girls. <laughs> five tablespoons of melted butter, um, a half a cup of well-packed brown sugar, and a one teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of almond. Mm. And you're gonna want a half cup of pecans. You can use whatever nut that you like. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be pecans. I like pecans, but almonds, walnuts, what have you, whatever you like. I'm gonna whir these up real quick. And there chop. you go. I know, don't you love it? <laughs> so easy. I remember when I was cooking with my grandma, and do you remember those things that you put them in and you oh, slap the top? I still have one of those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I tried to do onions in that, and basically uh -huh. all I did was like solidify them. Yeah. They were just a mess. Running they were everywhere. Runny, yeah, or liquefy is what I meant. Yeah, tried that too. <laughs> no, 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 no. So here's the easy part. You just dump in all those ingredients that I told you. Oh. Real simple. I like simple. I do too. Uh, let's do... I think my husband would eat this. Really? Yeah. That's fantastic. I don't know. I'm going to pop the eggs in here with the liquids because, you know, why not? Why not? Why not? And then I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here too. I'm just putting all the liquids together. Well, that make it easier. Yeah, I think so. Just yeah, give just it a get little, them all in there. Stir. Yeah, exactly. Give them a little rip up, and I believe. Oh, oh. There we go. Gigi's kitchen is conducive to labor. There we go. Yes. Okay. So I'm just giving this all a quick whip. You can put it all in here and, and do this as well. It, it's sort of a dump cake thing, but I kind of wanted to get everything going here in one spot. So you will. Have this egg work with me here. There we go. <laughs> Just get your fingers in it. Why not? <laughs> and All we right. have washed our hands. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Just All in case right. anyone was wondering. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you have to stipulate that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Never use a dirty hand or fingers or, no. Just keep it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> All right, so tossing in the brown sugar. Apple's not yet. Uh, 
what was I, I was thinking, I'm thinking on the fly here. I need a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is a kosher salt, whatever kind you like best. And then one full teaspoon of apple pie spice, mm. which is basically fall in a measuring spoon. Mm -hmm. I love apple pie spice. So, get this all mixed up, and then once this is all done, we'll do the apples. We'll get those popped in as well. And um, it's that easy. That's it. Now, when you're thinking about your turkey cooking and your mashed potato making and your three bean casserole, whatever you're going to be making, your string bean casserole, this is a joy to throw together. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? You could do this the night before, just like you would do your breakfast casserole. You have to. Do it the night you before. You have to do this the night before and refrigerate it. And then you just wake up, you heat it up, everybody has all their own different toppings that they want to put on top of it, and then you continue with your cooking and then mm -hmm. breakfast is served. And you know that you've got your family something hearty and something healthy. Yeah. And uh, and it took this long to make. You saw how fast this went. It is quick. Would you please dump those apples in here? Oh, sure. Got one cup of apples. Mm -hmm. One cup of apples. It's basically one large apple, and like I said, I use two small. Or you could do a cup of pears, or how about an apple and a pear? Mix it up a little bit. Why not? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get this done. I'm going to pop it here. So your, your bowl. Okay, you guys, anybody who watches me do recipes, you know <laughs> that I, I play around. Mm -hmm. You know, it's there's no hard, fast rules as far as I'm concerned, unless you are baking. baking. Absolutely. Then you will see me follow every rule I get out, especially bread. Yes. I get out my scale. You weigh. There is no messing around. I am a serious Nikki D when it comes to baking. But when it comes to cooking like this, it's different. Oh, yeah. So I have used uh, those um, like casserole dishes that are a little lower on the sides, maybe an inch and a half, two inches tall instead of this. You can use whatever works for you. Something that's around eight inches or holds two liters is, is I'm sorry, two quarts, is okay. really all you need to think about. Mm -hmm. So cover this. I cut, like to cover with a tea towel. Uh-uh. Well, we're not gonna use that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put this one to we'll the put side. that one over there. So just cover with a, a tea towel and pop it in your fridge. Yes, you can use saran wrap. You all know how I feel about that. Mm. I'm going to pass this to Miss Serena and she's going to put it over in Gigi's fridge. Got it. Now, because that was so quick, we're going to do a topping as well. For your topping, you are going to take a half a cup of your oats. It's almost like a crumble. It sort of comes out when mm -hmm. you're eating a crumble. Uh, half a cup of whatever nuts you want. In this case, I'm just using pecans because they're my favorite. Since I'm making it, everybody gets to eat my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a quarter cup of the brown sugar, again, firmly packed, and three tablespoons of butter. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and I'm going to let you go ahead and mix that topping up. Absolutely. And then you see here there's more cranberries. These cranberries are for when tomorrow you take this out of the fridge, you bake it off, you take it out of the fridge, you put your crumble on top, you bake it off, and then when it comes out of the oven, you put the, the dried cranberries on top and you get a bit of a chew. Fantastic. Oh. Fantastic. Mm. It is. <laughs> so. Those are my favorite anyway. <laughs> so when Serena's done here, she'll be popping that in the fridge as well. And what we're going to do okay. is come back and through the magic of the fact that I made one yesterday, <laughs> we're going to go ahead, take it out of the oven, Sample it, see what everybody thinks, because I don't think Serena has ever had I haven't. my cranberry oatmeal breakfast. No, but I'm anticipating it being very good. So we will be right back. See ya. Uh, let me get you something to cover that up. Okay. We're back, <laughs> and it's done. So I'm gonna grab it out of the oven, and we're gonna give it a taste. Mm, my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely tasty. <laughs> Doesn't that look fantastic? It's amazing. How can people not love that? It almost looks like a granola crumble it on does, the top. It does, doesn't it? Now remember, that crumble that we made that also went into the refrigerator, when you pull it out of the fridge, you'll give it a stir, you'll put that crumble on the top. Now, all we do is put our dried 
cranberries on top. So now you have a bit of a chew along with that crunch. Okay. And yum. And serving spoon. Here we go. Um, and pot holder. <laughs> I have done that before. You have done that? Yes, I did it this morning when I was roasting the almonds. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, that's Let me not see good. your bowl. I managed to flip off a couple of the. Oh, get you some cranberries. Thank you. You oh. are welcome. Does that smell amazing? Mm, that smells so good. It's so nutty. It and smells like Thanksgiving in a bottle. <laughs> yes, it does. This, is, this to me is fall. It's, it's like when oh. you open up that apple pie spice. Mm -hmm. So you've got that crunchy on the top, and then you have you have that moistness of the oatmeal below. Look at that. Almost like an oatmeal cookie. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. So let's <gasps> give it a what? You know what would be good on that? <laughs> I was just thinking of dip what? Add, um, some cream. No, okay, so yes, I was gonna say that cream on this would be absolutely delicious. Like a little bit of heavy you could, cream. Yes, just you could do warmed up uh, just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look who decided to join. Gigi wants some. <laughs> She doesn't want to be on film Gigi today. She want wants to taste it. She didn't do her face, so she's hiding behind Serena, <laughs> but she can't. She has had this before. Like Let me get you a spoon. You're not leaving me out of this one. Oh, it feels good. It's a spoon. And if you pop in the fridge, Mom, and grab us the heavy cream, we'll put a little bit of that on here, too. But I'm going to taste it first. Yeah, I was going to say, try it without. There's three of them here. Mm, the one by itself. Yes. Top, top. The top one? Mm -hmm. mm. There you go. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. It's like an oatmeal cookie. I would eat this as a snack mm -hmm. and not just for breakfast. Yeah, it is delicious. Here, now you try it with some cream. Do you want to give that a go-to one? You can mm -hmm. put it right in here. But you get that this the moistness from the oatmeal. <laughs> I love a woman who just doesn't care, and the, <laughs> the food matters more than anything else. Absolutely. <laughs> but I think, Ooh, but now you, again, you don't have to do the heavy cream no. part. But you know, it's the holidays, and I'm not a I'm not a big sweets person. I am. Uh, me too. She is, <laughs> and so is Mr. Blue Jeans. I'm surrounded by sweet people. It's not my thing. But at the holidays, it's mm -hmm. funny. I do get a bit of a sweet tooth, and this is not overbearing. Mm -mm. You like it. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is my new go-to for sweet. I love that. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, mm. Mm. quick and easy, filling. Oh, Your family should love it. Switch it up. Apples, pears, just pears, just apples, whatever kind of nuts you like. Maybe if you don't like cranberries, raisins. Mm -hmm. Just give it a try and play with it. Dried apricots. Dried apricots. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And they even have, I mean, you've got all those things. You've got dried pineapple mm -hmm. and mango and all kinds of things. So it's it's fun. Different the mm -hmm. different nuts. You could do cashews with with pineapple. Go crazy. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of dehydrating, <laughs> you yeah. know me and my zests. Mm -hmm. What about a little fresh, if you did the pineapple, a little fresh lime zest in there with the cashews and the pineapple. Or the orange. Or some orange, or mix it up. Uh -huh. I mean, the sky is the limit. Use your imagination. You shredded coconut. Oh. What does your family like? Make it happen. And let us know. Let us know the combinations that you tried and how you liked it. So, thanks for coming by and visiting with Serena and I and Gigi, the stealth eater. <laughs> Nikki D from Five Dog Farm, and we'll talk to you soon. Oh my God, this is so good. I know. Mm. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like you like it. Oh. Girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. And add it on. Yeah, I know. I need them. We're gonna eat. <laughs> uh huh.